would like to save half a million pounds across their storage environment? We're all here today because storage efficiency is a big thing. Everyone is optimising their infrastructure, trying to reduce costs and stretch those ever-shrinking budget. So what's stopping you achieving storage efficiency? There are lots of obstacles and challenges in the way that make this seem like an unreachable goal. We're bombarded with information. Read any blog or news article and it won't be too long before you arrive on a piece about storage efficiency, how to do more or less and so on. There's a seemingly huge amount of information offering guidance and pointers aimed at helping organisations improve storage efficiency. And with good reason too. If like this major insurance company you could be shaving half a million pounds of, off of your costs. We know that at least half of you here today will have some kind of orphan storage in your environment which is sitting idle and costing you money. We also know that around about 95% of you will have at least one or more configuration error in your storage environment. We call them sleeping catastrophes. Things that you just don't know about, deeply concealed from view, which could seriously affect your business operations. So what that might this mean in your organisation? Well, if like many companies, data replication is critical to your business, how confident are you that it's actually working as expected? How would you feel if a disaster struck and then you found out someone had forgotten to switch it on? Don't know about you, but I certainly wouldn't want to be in the office on that day. And application performance, always quite difficult to pinpoint. But are you really sure, quite sure, that that disk drive that failed three weeks ago on a Friday afternoon wasn't replaced with one that was at slower speed, causing the whole RAID group now to slow down, affecting application performance? And what about your servers? Are they really all multi-path to the SAN? Or could there just be one or two single path servers? So no question then, storage inefficiency can seriously affect the health of your business. Storage is probably your fastest growing data expense today. What's more worrying is that the analysts such as Gartner, IDC, Forrester are telling us that demand is going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. I'm sure many of you experience these types of challenges on a regular basis. It must sometimes feel like you are constantly ambushed from all areas of the business and there's nowhere to hide. But these initi initiatives are the fundamental foundations of your business operations and they all need storage capacity. And of course, not only are you expected to be an expert in all of these areas, but you are of course going to provide them with the same overstretched resources that you have today. If you're responsible for your data storage assets, then you already know how bad the situation is. Of course, drive capacities increase and new technologies, technologies help to contain growth. But let's face it, history has shown that demand has always outstripped supply. Without knowing it, we're all somehow addicted to storage and whatever we do, we just can't seem to get off it. So we just keep buying more, adding to the complexity, adding to the unmanageability. I've been in the IT industry now for about 20 years and I still haven't found an IT department of any size that say they have enough resources to cope. And you know what? Just as you think you've got to that finishing line, sure enough something else comes along and you never quite get there. Then there's the issue of big data. Bringing together large data sets from different sources can have huge benefits, help you identify new revenue streams, improve services to existing clients. But those data sets will be quite large and some of them will be growing exponentially. Some of you may have flown on the new Boeing 787 Dreamliner. I bet you didn't know that for every round trip it creates about one terabyte of data. For almost every component, sensors are constantly sending status information back to the ground, enabling faster troubleshooting, analytics and decision making. And how much does every one of us create each day from email, social network, working and photos? In one way or another we're all polluters, littering our data across multiple storage devices and locations without second thought. And we expect it all to be readily available any time of day from any location. So when you're looking at your big data infrastructure, ensure that you don't end up with big infrastructure meaning big cost. 
So why do we find ourselves in this situation? Well, it's not through any lack of elbow grease from the storage administrators trying to keep on top of things. The natural evolution of your business organically contributed to structural and policy changes, often resulting in deep complexity within your environment. Maybe there have been mergers and acquisitions, restructurings. Then there's the configuration history by people who have come and gone from the business, each leaving behind their own legacy. As the organisation has grown, both physically and digitally, new infrastructure has been needed at unprecedented rates. So you're running just to keep up with demand. And while all that's happening, somehow there's just been never enough time or resources to take stock of the situation. Now you might say that some smart organisations routinely report on their storage resources, and you'd be right. But what we see is this solution has actually become part of the problem. How many of you here spend hours or days creating storage reports each month? Perhaps you're like George. He was spending 17 days each month just creating reports in Excel. So with demand and costs increasing, we see many clients working hard to solve the storage efficiency challenge in an attempt to control growth, reduce costs and manage complexity. Strategies include increasing utilisation, getting data onto the right technology tier and consolidating storage arrays. And many of them still have work to do. One of our global IT services clients has conducted over 200 storage assessments. Not one was completely problem free. And if you're still not sure that efficiency matters, then consider the IT department that didn't measure their own efficiency. Eventually their costs became too high, service levels became too complex, and their ability to adapt to change was severely reduced. Eventually their internal users became shadow IT departments, as they could buy compute and storage resources cheaper online from those new cloud providers, and they had absolutely no control over this provision. So before you start on any efficiency journey, you need to understand where you are today and where you want to get to. Identifying and using key performance indicators, KPIs, can underpin your strategy and show you whether you are on the right course to success. If you don't, then it's just like a pilot flying blind without any of the vital navigation instruments to help guide them. The right set of KPIs will shine a light on those areas which need attention. And once you have improved visibility, you have really taken the first step towards improving efficiency. So which KPIs should you measure and how quickly can you get a blueprint of your storage assets? After all this is about improving efficiency so the last thing you want to do and probably won't have time for is a long-winded research and development project. Well if we look at the, some of, uh, what some of the top industry analysts, vendors and system integrators have been saying there are about half a dozen or so core storage related KPIs that, help, that can help underpin a storage strategy. And because storage is usually one of the largest line items in your budget, making even the smallest amount of change can deliver big returns. So let's look at a couple of them in more detail. Capacity allocation. How much of the storage that you have purchased has actually been allocated? Best practice is usually around about the 80 to 90 percent. So if you're down at 50 percent capacity allocated and you're buying more storage, then why? Conversely, if you're up at the 95%, how quickly will you run out of storage? When do you need storage for certain projects? Do you know when you're going to run out of storage? When we looked at the arrays that we analysed, nearly half of them were below 70% allocated. Huge amounts of wasted storage. Tiering. Is your data in the right place at the right time for the right cost? Best practice says you should have at least three tiers of storage, perhaps four, including an archive tier. When we looked at our, our storage assessments that we've performed, over 60% were using less than three tiers. So how can you quickly get to grips with what's happening in your own storage environment? Flagship product, Storage Fusion Analyze, includes a storage efficiency dashboard which provides all of the most important KPIs in a simple, easy to use interface. In this environment you can immediately see that we have some areas which should be investigated. We did this without installing any agents or probes or specialist knowledge 
of the storage arrays. It was fully automated and analysed within hours. Storage Fusion Analyze isn't just another SRM, storage resource management tool. This light touch storage reporting solution gives deep visibility into the storage environment across multiple vendors in a single fast process. It delivers the essential insight every business needs to make fast, agile decisions across their storage assets and helps you underpin your storage strategy for the future. I'm delighted to announce that we're joined here today by Steve Pinder from Glasshouse Technologies. Steve is going to talk us through how Glasshouse used Storage Fusion Analyze as part of their services to help customers optimize their storage environments and save costs. Over to you, Steve. Glasshouse is a leading provider of independent consultancy services, dealing in four main technology areas, data center, workspace, security, and cloud. Glasshouse provides customers with a methodology designed to transform IT from a cost center into a business enabler based around our service provider model. This methodology follows a continuous improvement cycle of analyze and advise, design and deploy, and measure and manage. If the transformation to the future state is lengthy, the services are also designed to optimize the current infrastructure as part of the roadmap. The case study is based on engagements carried out for a large insurance company based in London. They had a number of issues relating to storage that were exacerbated by high data growth and which were projected to cause a doubling of storage costs over the next three years. The customer had outsourced its storage admin as part of a managed service and was being charged on a per gigabyte basis for provision storage. As the managed service provider was both allocating and charging for storage, there was no incentive to optimise the use of data. Glasshouse therefore recommended the impact analysis service that would provide a health check for the current estate and the following key deliverables. Advice as to where the current environment deviate from industry best practice, tactical and strategic recommendations for improvement, the identification of key reporting metrics and KPIs for storage measurement, and a roadmap for change. As Glasshouse is an independent service provider, we have to provide services against a wide range of industry hardware and software. This means that the tools we use for these services must be heterogeneous and deliver data more quickly and easier than can be done manually. It's vital that the tools can be deployed with as little intrusion to a customer environment as possible and the data provided complements the interview and workshop process. The benefits to Glasshouse of using SFA by Storage Fusion are simple. It supports most storage arrays we analyse and is script based, meaning there are no agents to install. It also quickly and easily identifies major data points and quick wins, such as orphaned and free space, utilisation of VMware environments and thinly provisioned storage pools, host allocations and also tiers of storage provided on each array. The analysis found that storage utilisation was acceptable at around 50% of allocated, although there was no thin provisioning deployed and a number of hosts had a considerable amount of excess capacity. The main issues found concerned storage tiering. Firstly, there was a considerable amount of data placed on storage tiers that were more performant and therefore more expensive than the application required. Secondly, only one of the two locations had any SATA disk technology deployed, meaning all data for that location was placed on more expensive SAS drives. Thirdly, there was no archive tier in place, causing additional strain on the primary storage and backup services. Glasshouse therefore recommended that excess capacity was repatriated from some storage hosts back into the storage pool, and some were moved to lower storage tiers as were appropriate. SATA drive technology should also be made available at both locations. Due to the inflexibility of the current contract, additional recommendations such as implementing an archive tier and thin provisioning could not be implemented until service renewal. If all the recommendations were implemented, Glass has calculated the customer would achieve cost savings or cost avoidance of £600,000 over four years. In conclusion, Glasshouse helps customers to optimise or transform their environments 
and tools such as Storage Fusion Analyze are critical in enabling us to do so. The main recommendations to the customer in this case study were the recommendations to alter the tiering strategy and also to base its future service contract on consumed capacity rather than allocated capacity. This would mean the risk burden of over-provisioning would fall on the service provider rather than the customer and ensure that the service provider would be keeping the storage estate optimised. Until the service contract could be changed, running tools such as SFA on a regular basis means that the customer can easily track storage utilisation and ensure that the storage estate is being managed well. For this customer, every £1 spent on analysis and remediation resulted in a five-fold cost saving. So finally, a bit about Storage Fusion. We're well established in the field of storage analytics. Our Storage Fusion Analyze tool was founded in 2007 and is now used every day by many of the leading system integrators and IT professional services companies worldwide, probably without you even realising it. So far our software has analysed over 1.3 exabytes of storage in businesses and organisations across the board. For these businesses it has revealed an unprecedented depth of information about their storage environments in a super fast speed with amazing accuracy. It's a bit like creating a window with a view directly into your storage infrastructure. The huge number of assessments that are done with Storage Fusion Analyze give us a more realistic and unbiased view of the storage landscape that's not based on theory or marketing blurb but what's on actually happening, happening in everyday IT departments like yours. So I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. Please come along to our stand at uh, D59 IP Expo where there's software demos. Come and chat with one of our experts and there's also a free storage efficiency guide. Uh, we also have the opportunity for you to win an iPad Mini um, by completing one of our short surveys. So please come along to D59 and we'd be delighted to speak with you.